Hi, Cheshire Bug here, and today I wanted to do a how to do your dailies mission, uh, dailies video. Um, so basically every day when you log into the game, you'll have these dailies that are reset. Um, I already completed one on accident, um, but yeah, you'll have these dailies and then you will be able to complete them every day and get these rewards as well as these baskets up here. You have this first challenge, uh, which is complete any hard level three times. Um, I already did that. Basically, you go into this hard mode. So here you would just go um, sweep and then sweep three times um, once you have um, three fires on them. Um, but I already used my daily chances. So yeah, do that. That's your um, the first mission and it gives you 30 stamina. So it's really nice. Um, the second one is going to defeat one Dine and Dash cu customer. So basically Dine and Dash are these things that pop up in your restaurant. For example, this. Um, and you can choose to either ask for help from your friends um, and so they can complete, uh, so that they can defeat your dining dash, or you can fight it by yourself. Um, I do have Dainty who needs help, so let me try to ask for help um, so that she can get hers if she wants to. And then let me go um, help with hers. Wait, let me check. Uh, yeah, okay. I go help with hers. So here, every day you have um, these chances, and I'll use, um, I'll talk about those in another video. Um, yeah, for the other video, I'll probably go over, um, all the things that you can do in a day, um, that are not related to your dailies. So yeah, there's a go. Very quick, easy, I just complete one, and then you get some tips and gold if you're helping a friend. So there you go, um, I completed one Dine and Dash chance. Let's go back. And so, um, the other restaurant rewards that I, um, inadvertently completed were the gain 50 reputation, which is basically fame, um, and earn 10,000 gold from a restaurant. Um, so these also give you crystals, which are very valuable, and some tips, which are great for the shop. So um, I'll do a whole restaurant guide later, but basically you need to know that selling dishes, um, presumably with more flavor, um, gives you fame, um, and dishes with a lot of texture as well, or just this amount up here um, give you a lot of gold so yeah let's keep going um, you need to complete one airship so that's going to be this thing right here um, I'm not sure if there's a certain level where it becomes available um, but you usually will be able to get over that cap very soon so let me just quickly um, finish my airship Oh, a little short um, note is that you can, for me um, personally, I in I usually make seven of the dishes. Okay, that, that wasn't a good example because I got two exquisites. Basically, these exquisite dishes are um, RNG based and they help um, by giving your fun your food souls more fondness, but I'll go into that um, in my second another in another video Basically, you can't use these exquisite dishes um, for your airship You can only use these normal dishes And so I usually make one more dish extra just in case I hit that RNG, but I made two of them in that one So that kind of sucked um, But yeah, so since I need six I'd usually go for seven and if I only needed five I'd go for six, uh, you know Um, another thing, you're noticing that I'm using a lot of these um, crystals, um, and that's because I don't want to use stamina. Stamina has a very different use. It's for Gate of Trials mostly, for uh, especially us F2P players, um, free-to-play players. Um, and so I usually save my stamina for those events while mainly relying on um, water crystals, um, which unlock at a certain level. So basically, now that we have our airship done, we can load them all up. And then we get some rewards, sometimes they give you stamina, sometimes they give you crystals. It's very nice, and usually you want to try to aim for three every day. Um, set your alarms like a matter on that um, if you're really about it, but usually two every day is fine. So then you're going to set sail, this button here. Um, and you will notice that there's a specified food soul over here. Um, and that, oh, we didn't get it this time. But basically, you get some cooking points, um, cooking power, and you have four R food souls and four SR um, food souls. Um, food shards, I should say, um, and basically one of these SR, or multiple, if you're lucky, um, can become a UR um, shard for the featured food soul. So right now it's Cloud T, 
um, but sometimes it changes into apple pie or chadurkin or we recently had a um, matsuke i don't know how to pronounce his name um, but we there's many other um, futsal guests that come in the airship so yeah after that you'll see that we completed our airship and we also inadvertently created our uh, finished our make any dish five times okay great um, we also want to complete one restaurant task so that is this thing right here make sure you can choose one of these um, I usually go for the ones that have exquisite boxes so here and then I would go and whenever these food foods are done I would choose to make braised eggplant um, to complete that um, to complete that daily okay what else complete 10 catacomb levels so that's over here your trials and I'll make um, a whole guide video on all these trials um, but basically for the daily you're just gonna enter yeah so just choose a random team or well a, a, team, a catacomb team I'll I'll make a catacomb guide later I'll make a guide for everything I should probably just stop saying that but yeah whatever it'll come with time so yeah Great, look at them, they're doing- oh, I forgot to use a tank, oh shoot, that's a terrible example, do not follow that, he <laughs> always uses a tank, um, but yeah, that works fine. Okay, so now that we completed one, um, you can complete ten to finish that um, daily mission. Um, another thing is to purify three spirits, and so what that means is to go down to your fallen angel tab, this will probably also unlock it around uh, the level 30 or the earlier levels. Um, you see we have these complete embryos and basically we're just going to claim them all um, we didn't get anything special unfortunately um, but you always want to be purifying these um, embryos with a chance of getting these um, purple FAs or fallen angels so let me just pop these ones in okay for next time okay and then yeah we just purified our three spirits or five complete any level ten times um, so that includes hard levels if you want to do three sets of hard level four sets of hard levels um, or you can just do um, two sweeps of normal levels as well um, so yeah I'll just do one sweep just to show you guys just like that so yeah just do those sweeps um, and then you can be able to finish the mission complete one exploration so you're gonna go to your map and then go to explore these are another plus 30 level um, area but yeah just claim your claim your reward after a certain time delivery order so that basically means here in orders you have you can go to public orders or private orders um, and basically um, just fill out these requirements I'm gonna do something short actually we have three hours until our public orders come back I'll do something with that gives me more uh, yeah this one looks good um, they basically give you perfect treasures fame and um xp i think that's cooking talents but it might be xp it doesn't matter it's just 50 so it's not really going to help you that much so yeah choose a team that you want to use and then choose a bike uh, well you don't have to choose a bike and then press delivery so there we go and then when it comes back it'll be accomplished complete replenish three times and so what this is is your daily trials so you want to click on these um, set up your team um, and then press fight you can use talents if you want and then they will run through it and then after that you will be able to um, complete your um, daily for that of course you need to do that three times I'm just do shortening it for the value of this video um, complete take part in three showdowns so that's the second trial you're going to go make your team and then basically that's weird, my numbers are weird. Oh, did I not set my... Okay, just a second, just a second. Everything seems fine. Okay, all right, I'm back. Uh, just choose a person. Um, it's right now, it's the beginning of the week still, so um, all your opponents will have a 100 um, medal reward in the beginning of the week, and then later on, they will fluctuate um, based on their ranking in the um, showdown ranking yeah so just complete um, you want to complete three of these but again just one for the sake of this video to show you how it's done um, and then you're going to serve a hundred customers um, and this goes back to the restaurant um, so if you go to the restaurant and then once your food is sell, um, 
made and sold. Um, you just need to thank you, whoever did that. Um, they ex expelled my diamond dash. Um, but once you have 100 um, dishes out and then you sell them all, um, they will sell with time, then you will be able to complete that mission. Who was that? That's Harkana. Nice. Thank you, Harkana. No, that wasn't. Okay, whatever. We'll figure it out. Shout out Harkana. She's great. Um, anyway, group order. Okay, so what it means by group order, oops, I forgot one. It's basically at a set time, I think there's four rounds of them. You have these group orders, um, these public orders. And basically, you need to finish at least one um, to get that mission completed. Um, so yeah, um, I'll probably do a break-in video. So to do your public orders um, for your daily missions, uh, yes, your pub, um, group order, um, you're going to try to go to your public order tab um, and then just choose the one that gives out the most rewards, or that's what I like to do. So here, um, if you're early, they will have these rapid rewards available, and these give you um, R shards and SR shards. Um, so you want to usually try to go for that, but sometimes I'm too lazy and I forget the um, time. So just um, do... Just do, you only are required one, but usually for both missions, I try to do, I just do two, and then that finishes all the delivery missions I have for the day. So just do two, um, and these give out more rewards than your regular private orders, um, so I highly recommend doing them. So yeah, those are your daily missions, um, and in addition to these, you also have your guild missions. And so, as you see, we already have completed some. One win in showdown, we did that. One airship completed, great improve any recipe 10 times, that was the airship. Um, do guild construction five times. So basically, once you're in a guild, there is this option to contribute by pressing this create button. You can build one time or a maximum of 10. Um, I just use 10 since it's faster, um, and that's how you finish this guild mission. Two exploration, so we already showed you how to do an exploration, um, but I'll go back to finish that. So map, explore, you just want to claim these. Um, to set out these teams, you're going to click on a uh, mission or an exploration. Um, you're going to uh, basically, you want to fill as many of these criteria as you can. If you click on them, they will show you um, your food souls filtered. Um, but since I only have two of these, um, I'm just going to go for the next best thing. Yeah, so this is fine. So you can manually, manually um, create your teams, or you can also just say, you know what, just press auto format and then it will make your teams with the greatest number of requirements it can. Um, but, and then make sure you claim your rewards on time. The last ones are complete five form total for floors of catacombs. We already showed you one, I'll do five later. Um, and then complete two takeaway orders. So those don't have to be public orders. So that's how you do your daily and your guild missions. Um, and I'll show another, and I'll show um, just raw footage of me going through all of them um, on my alt. So that if you really need a more explicit guide on how to do them, um, then I'll have that up for you guys. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Ciao, ciao, bye.